What is good guys? This is Charles from Team COG coming at you guys with another Infernoble combo tutorial. So guys, uh, the new support came out and that's why I kind of stopped like uploading stuff of the old list. I went ahead and I proxied everything for the new list post Duelist Nexus or Dune. And uh, I sat there guys, there was one night I was sitting there, I was could not sleep. I was like, God, there's gotta be a one card combo that doesn't make us play the Ignites that we can play because now it seemed the deck turned into a 1.5 or a two card combo deck. And I didn't like that, but however, I was like, I guess it's not the worst thing. I just felt there were some lines or some plays that allowed us to keep the one card combo. Whether that be you, if you guys are playing Connector or you guys are playing uh, Sublimation Knight, they're still like one card, can, two warriors essentially still can get us to a, a, a full combo, right? And I was sitting there, spent hours, man. I woke up at 2 a.m., couldn't sleep, ended up not, I was like, till seven in the morning, I sat there and ran through things in my head. And as far as I know, I've not been able to find a video showcasing this combo, but if you guys know of anyone who's beat me to it, Put their link down in the description below so we can give credit where credit's due because I'm not going to tell you I'm the first person to come up with this. I'm just going to tell you that I came up with it by myself. However, I might not be, you know, I'm not definitely not the smartest person out there. So there's probably someone out there who figured this out faster than I am. But anyway, guys, uh, before I continue on, if you guys want to help support the channel, check out the links down in the description below. If you guys enjoy the sleeves, check out Imperium Duelist, use our code, uh, get 10% off. Also, if you guys would see any cards you want, maybe you're trying to pick up Infernobles before the new stuff comes out, go ahead and use that TCG player affiliate link, give it a little cash back to the channel. Uh, so you're gonna go ahead and normal summon out your connector or your level, two, excuse me, you're gonna go ahead and summon out your connector. Apologize for the glare, still getting everything set up. Still trying to figure out the best way to beat the glare, but it is what it is. Uh, so you summon out Dolphin. And normally, right, normally if connector plus a level four Fire Warrior would be combo. But that's just that's just too like, yeah, most of your deck searches level four. You play like OG at three, you play a lot more level fours than you normally do. Uh, this is just in case if you just see connector plus nothing else or just Fire Flint Lady and another warrior, right? Or red layer plus another warrior. This is what you get. Uh, so you end up going here and you end up making Isolde. Two tails of the Oval Knight, no, of the Noble Knights. Uh, Isolde's effect, you go ahead and add any fire warrior. We'll go ahead and add red layer. We use Isolde's effect sending four. So it's very important. You send Phoenix Blade, Metal Silver. You send Durandal and you send Joyous. So yes, we're finally playing and utilizing a Charles's sword, uh, Joyous. You send four and you get to summon out from your deck a level four which we summon out Ogier, and then we use Ogier's effect to go ahead and send Infernoble Knight Turpin. So right here, if you guys don't know what Turpin does, Turpin's kind of insane. It can special summon itself from Hand or Graveyard if you have a level uh, Fire Warrior equipped with an equip spell, and then it just allows itself to equip, and whatever it equips to becomes a tuner. But we will banish two for Phoenix Blade to go ahead and add ourselves Phoenix Blade. We'll equip Phoenix Blade to either one, it does not matter. Turpin will special summon itself from the graveyard. And then we go ahead and we overlay. Wait, what? We're overlaying? What could we overlay into? Well, let me show you. Into Artorgus, the king of the noble knights. On summon, Artorgus ends up equipping as many noble arms, up to three noble arms from the graveyard. So we equip noble arms Joyous and noble arms Durandal. Uh, we go ahead and use Durandal's effect, destroy itself, to go ahead and grab us. Ricardetto, the one of the new ones. Uh, this guy will warrior lock you, just for you guys to know. And then you link Artorgus and Isolde. Uh, it's very good note that I would put a, I'll put a picture on the screen. It's Ferocious Flame Swordsman is the card I would go into. Um, however, you can make you can just do another Isolde. It really doesn't matter. I just hate wasting the second Isolde. Or maybe you play three Isoldes. Ferocious Flame Swordsman is it's not anything too spectacular. It's just a level two fire. It's a link to fire warrior. Two monsters with different names allows you and it gives like every warrior monster a 500 attack boost and then if it's destroyed you can special summon a non-link warrior from your graveyard uh, but for the sake of the video we'll just make a second as old you don't have to and then we will trigger the effect of joyous since it was um the monster was linked off and sent to the graveyard you special summon out ricardetto ricardetto go ahead and target the turpin or the ogier your choice special summon and then you synchro into angelica the princess of noble arms Effective Princess, you go ahead and add yourself the Infernoble Arm Museum. So then, once we add Museum, we go ahead and we can banish two. Uh, you can banish Artorgus and his old. Uh, something to talk about with Artorgus here. Uh, this card is actually pretty insane because you get to Artorgus, other effect is detach, pop spell and traps up to number of noble arms, or I believe it's equips. Uh, you want to do destroy the traps up to number of noble arm, yeah, up to a number, a number of noble arm equip spells, uh, since you would have technically two you get to pop up to two spell and traps. And this is before we start getting to like the really, the, the, the guts of the combo. So that's just cool utility the deck has uh, using this. Uh, but you end up banishing this to go ahead and add back 
Divine Sword. You go ahead and you activate Divine Sword targeting Angelica, then you chain Angelica's effect, sending Gearfried, and then banishing herself to go ahead and summon out Roland from the X deck. Now you go ahead and activate Museum. You use Museum's effect to pay 12 and add yourself Infernoble Arms Almas, or Almac, Almas, whatever, however. Uh, we'll go ahead and equip it to Roland. And then you can go ahead and use Ogier or Turpin. I recommend using not using Ogier, but I, I, actually you don't ever have to use Ogier at all. Just use Turpin. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna you'll get a maxed out Charles or Charlemagne uh, by just using Turpin. Turpin will equip to the Roland. You use Noble Arms Museum's effect to go ahead and special summon out the Turpin. And then yeah, we synchro summon for Charles. And Almac, Almace, so I won't, Almace will effect will trigger. And if you guys don't know, all the Infernoble Arms have a, another effect uh, that allow them to activate when the card they are equipped to is sent to the graveyard. So if you guys don't know, it says, if this card is sent to the graveyard because the equipped monster was sent to the graveyard, target one fire warrior monsters, target one fire warrior monster that is banished or in your graveyard. So we're gonna target the gear freed and add it to hand. We'll go ahead and activate Roland's effect to go ahead and equip to Charles. Now, if you needed to, you could banish Ricardetto and Turpin to get the Divine Sword, but it just, it's its okay. We then link into the, the, the man, the myth, the legend, Charlemagne. Uh, Charlemagne will end up equipping Charles. And then we go ahead and we special summon out Gear Free by banishing an equip spell. We can go ahead and just hit the Durandal here. And then go ahead and use that Ogier in the graveyard, uh, since you decide to hold off, to go ahead and equip to Charles. And then you proceed to the end phase. So right now, uh, since Roland was not synchro summoned, it doesn't get its effect, but you'll have to be able to resolve Angelica and Charlemagne. Charlemagne will equip the metal silver armor and grab Oliver from the deck. And then of course, end phase, Angelica comes back out. So again, right here, one card guys, one card got us to this board. We have technically a spell and trap negate and a quick effect pop and a monster negate here. If you happen to open another Noble Arms Museum, uh, the combo changes differently. Even if you happen to even have just one card uh, like Renaud or Oliver to make this combo different, um, thing, you know, like you can do like, it just, it's insane. Uh, if you have another Noble Arms Museum and another Renaud, so like you just turn this one card into a three card combo, uh, you can end on a Baron as well. It's just, it's just truly kind of, it's, it's insane uh, what you can get uh, from this just one card. And we were able, like, how cool is this? So, like, the deck does have a one-card combo. It can be achieved by either Sublimation or uh, Aqua, uh, Sublimation or Neospace Connector. And then, like, guys, like, we, I mean, like, we added a red layer. So, like, I mean, this is kind of useless. So, like, I mean, like, arguably, you could have added Renaud for a better crackback to ensure that you're getting the crackback with Renaud. But, yeah, this is, this is insane, right? Three disruptions. Your opponent cannot target nothing. And Charlemagne is, like, 4,000. If you're, if you're playing, um... The Ferocious Fire Warrior, he be, I think he's 45 or 5,000. Mortal Phoenix is 4,000. Angelica is, I believe, 22, but you would always have her in defense. Uh, my only complaint with the with this is the fact that Angelica comes back and uh, doesn't really do anything. I guess if she does get targeted, she can tag out and then grab like the Roland from the deck. However, since I have you guys here, before we get into it, I'm not too big of a fan of main deck Roland, uh, simply because like I just always catch myself sending something better. You always either sending Gear Freed or you're sending um, Turpin. So this card just seems kind of like pointless to have, like it's like a win more in a way. The only time you send this is if you open Gear Free or open Turpin, you already have access to him. So that's when you send this to get that in-face follow-up. Uh, this could be like another extender in the sense of it could be like another fire, uh, red layer, it could be another Flint Lady. Uh, you know, it could be an Alstofo. Alstofo would be, probably be better than this, uh, just simply because Alstofo is a Infernoble Knight and it's an extender. But I don't know, like I said, this is like the first version of the deck that I'm testing. And then I plan to bring you guys on stream here shortly, but that's the combo it guys. That's it. I mean, I think this is nuts. I do have, I do would like to show you in another combo video, the two card um, anti Nibiru line, which I'll have coming up too shortly. But if you guys comment down below what you guys have figured out, I cannot wait to get the support soon. But this is Charlemagne from Team COG signing out. You guys have a wonderful night.